For this program, we will look at how to use the radio feature to send signals to other microbits. What we will need to look at is to enable how our microbits can actually communicate with one another, especially when they have different programs on each of those microbits. So the first thing we'll need to do is to create a program that will allow us to communicate with others. And we can do that by setting up a group ID, which is unique to each microbit. So the first thing we'll need to do is create an event handler that will trigger this group ID when the program starts. So we'll select our basic drawer and we'll drop down to an on start event handler. When the program starts, it will automatically trigger this event handler to set a group ID. What we will need to do is set that group ID by going to the radio drawer, scrolling down to the bottom and find radio set group. Now this group is kind of like a channel that you would find on a walkie-talkie. This radio can be set anywhere from 0 to 255. In this case, we'll go ahead and set our group ID to a random number 19. When another microbit has another set group of 19, those two microbits will be paired or will be able to communicate with one another via the radio broadcast signals. Now we can look at how to send the information from one microbit to the other. For this program, we're going to look at when an A button is pressed, we'll want to send a number that will send the information across radio. When the B button is pressed, we will send a different number. So for this, we will need two different event handlers. So in our input, we will find an on A button press, and we will also use an on B button press. This way, when we press the A button, we will send one signal. When the B button is pressed, we will send a different signal. So for our on A button press, what we'll have to look at is how to send a number using the radio drawer. So opening up our radio, we can find radio send number and drop that in. And we'll set that number to the number three. We'll use the same radio send number by duplicating and we'll switch this number to the number five. Now these numbers should be unique to each microbit. So if the number three is sent, any microbit that has a radio set group of 19 that receives the number three will perform an action. The same is true if the number five is received on the second microbit. Now to ensure that the information is being sent, we can go ahead and on our A button pressed, after we send the radio number three, we're gonna go ahead and add a string. And that string is going to say info sent. This will let us know that that data has actually been sent. On our B button pressed, we're going to send another string or show another string. In this case, we are going to type in the word reset. This is going to be a reset feature that will be shown on our set on our received program. This is how you will send information from one microbit to another using the radio set group.